All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And before we even get into this extremely depressing and just terrible story, I want to go ahead and point out today is my 12 year anniversary here on this channel on YouTube. 12 years ago today, I created the Optimus channel. And obviously since then, it's just been a pretty wild journey. Thousands of videos later, hundreds of millions of views later, it's just been quite the journey. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank all of you who have supported me over the years and watched my content. It really means the world to me. It's changed my life in a lot of different ways. And yeah, well, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this, unfortunately. So today, what we're talking about is actually one of the worst things I've ever seen on YouTube. And I know I've said that before for like cringy videos and whatnot, but th this legitimately is one of the worst things I've ever seen on YouTube. I mean, I don't really know how you get involved in this kind of thing. I don't know how that really starts or anything like that, but apparently this is a disastrous situation that started on YouTube and then has somehow grown into a global network, apparently, according to the BBC here that we're going to be reading their article. It, it comes down to the point where apparently hundreds of people from places like here in the United States, over in the UK and Europe, uh, whatnot, right? They, for whatever reason, get this really sick thrill out of animals being tortured and hurt. I, once again, it's going to be a fucking gruesome video. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Like, we're going to be talking about some terrible things. Please keep that in mind, right? Uh, make sure you're comfortable hearing what you're about to hear, unfortunately. But apparently, uh, this big, like, animal torture ring has been, at this point, killing and torturing baby monkeys on film. And for whatever reason, uh, this is, like, happening in the third world in places like Indonesia. And then people in, like, the United States and whatnot are paying these people to film themselves torturing these monkeys? I don't know. So a year-long BBC investigation has uncovered a sadistic global monkey torture ring stretching from Indonesia to the United States. The World Service found hundreds of customers in the US, UK, and elsewhere paying Indonesians to torture and kill baby long-tailed macaques on film. The torture ring began life on YouTube before moving to private groups on the messaging app Telegram. Police are now pursuing the buyers, and several arrests have already been made. So that's just, by the way, the introductory details to all of this. It is going to go a little bit more in-depth, okay? So obviously, uh, I don't know about you guys. I didn't know shit like this was going on on YouTube. Now, of course, this is a platform where there's just an inconceivable amount of video uploaded every minute, right? Billions of people around the world use YouTube, and you gotta think, right? Even if you upload, like, a, a five-minute video to YouTube, right? If even, like, a tenth of all the YouTube users were uploading that much content on a daily basis, you literally would be at a point where you can't even really monitor what's going on anymore, right? Because there's just so much shit. There's no way for a computer to accurately go through all that content, and you'd have to hire, like, 30 million people or something crazy to watch all these videos but apparently this all started on YouTube and it was like I guess a little bit more secretive well I guess over time it started to grow people for whatever reason decided fuck it let me get into this uh, monkey torture ring and get hyped up on that and then I don't know it got too much attention people were paying too much attention and then they had to move right they went to telegram which is where honestly a lot of crazy conversations happen like a lot of frontline war reports and whatnot right terrorist organizations giving updates and whatnot so so thankfully, though, this has it has been discovered, right? Like we're not breaking the news on this, which means that the police are aware of it. And as it says in the article, they're pursuing people buying this kind of content. And apparently several people have already been arrested due to I don't know if it was because they were buying this stuff or if they were actually the people involved in it. Right. Like in terms of literally carrying out the actions, I would think probably not. But. BBC journalists went undercover in one of the main Telegram torture groups where hundreds of people gathered to come up with extreme torture ideas and commission people in Indonesia and Asian countries to try, uh, carry them out. The sadist's goal was to create bespoke films in which baby long-tailed macaque monkeys were abused, tortured, and sometimes then killed on film. The BBC tracked down both the torturers in Indonesia and distributors and buyers in the US and gained access to an international law enforcement effort to bring them to justice. At least 20 people are now under investigation globally, including three women living in the UK who were arrested by police last year and released under investigation, and one man in the US state of Oregon who was indicted last week. Mike McCartney, a key video distributor in the US 
US, known by his screen name, The Torture King, agreed to speak to the BBC and describe the moment he joined his first Telegram monkey torture group. Quote, they had a poll set up, McCartney said. Do you want a hammer involved? Do you want pliers involved? Do you want a screwdriver? The resulting video was the most grotesque thing I have ever seen, he said. So, I mean, what the fuck do I even really say here, right? Like, I, I think the story tells you all the detail you need to know here. I mean, not only is this shit not normal, not only is it not compatible, I feel like, with a decent modern human society, but this is genuinely genuinely one of the most evil things I have ever read. So keep in mind, most of the monkeys that they're torturing and killing and abusing and shit, they're not even like fully grown ones, which it wouldn't make it any better. Don't get me wrong. But the fact of the matter is they are babies. So they're that much more defenseless in this entire thing, right? They literally have no way to defend themselves. And I, I saw a video from one of the, like, it was an undercover recording of one of the Indonesian killers or whatever here. And it's just one of the most fucked up, disgusting, disturbing videos you could see because like he clearly shows no remorse for what he's doing in fact he brags about some of the even uncommissioned animal abuse that he takes place in and laughs about it giddily as he explains himself wow how old Three million one years and the other one uh, other one about eight, eight months i uh, care many i uh, many about seven days until now i don't know and what i you know, I have uh, the, the 20, 20 more, and they are gone. Oh, no. When you, you hit them, yes, yes, huh? do, do, you, do you like? Yes, 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 I hit. If i very, very angry, I poop in a wall. Mm. I don't know why. In my, in my soul, you're like, oh, I saw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> About seven days ago, many almost died, twice. See out, and uh, I I put in uh, and out again. Oh, that is make me so angry. I put a head and I like a wall, <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, blood blood uh, uh, out in the mud. <laughs> that, that's so cool. And you want uh, we can make a videos together tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow maybe uh, is okay. Right, let me see them before I go. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. That's oh, many, huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can I take a photo? Video is okay, bro. Wow. Cool. <laughs> okay, bro. I will call you later and we meet up. Okay. Yeah? Okay, bro. You got it. See you. So you see videos like that, right? And you hear stories like this where apparently people who go by names like the fucking Torture King, whatever kind of nickname or username that is that you came up with here, bro. You hear stories about what these guys are up to and it just makes you realize like you actually cannot fix this. And I'm not saying like, oh, you can't shut down the, the monkey torture ring here. You literally cannot rehabilitate these people. There is no fixing them, okay? They are to a point where they are beyond like a normal human being's mentality, right? They are, th there's no morals here. There, there's no guidelines. There's no respect for life whatsoever here, right? If these people are willing to, I, I mean, fucking God, I don't even want to imagine the things that happen in these videos, but they want to use hammers on baby monkeys, uh, pliers to, to, I would assume, pull them apart. Like, what the fuck? There is no fixing that. There is no, you know, you sit down in jail and take a fucking class and all of a sudden you're not a monkey torturer when you get out, right? Like, that is a blatant disregard for life. That is a blatant disregard for morality. And like I said, in my opinion, it's not something you can fix. So in terms of this, bro, it's probably a good thing that somebody like me isn't the one leading these investigations or like the judge in this situation because I would be showing no leniency to these motherfuckers, bro. In all reality, the best treatment you could give somebody like this is exactly what they did to others. You know, maybe they need some fucking hammers and they need some pliers put to that ass, right? But of course, you know, we as people, as humans, we realize like that is a very violent and cruel way to treat somebody. Most normal people would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But like I said, I don't even know how you get into this, right? Like there's people in the United States fucking buying these videos. First and foremost, how does that work? And like how much money has to be getting traded to do this, right? Now I know in places like Indonesia, the US dollar is usually way better than the local currency for them. So, you know, if you get sent like 300 bucks by the 
fucking torture king to pull a monkey in half, that might be like six months salary or something. Right? I don't know the full tr like numbers or whatever that actually translate across, but you know what I'm saying? Like there's people in these like less privileged underdeveloped countries and whatnot where, you know, they don't make even remotely close as much money as people like here in the U S for instance do. And so I don't know if they just see that money and like, it's good enough. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know if this is like what they just do for fun in their spare time in their house. I, I, I really don't know, but it just really blows my mind. Cause like I've used YouTube since I was a child, you know, and I've never first off come across something like this. And even if I did, like, I can't imagine being like, all right, so I, I'm on YouTube and I just saw a monkey get blown up with a homemade cooking bomb. I think I'm going to join this guy's telegram and hang out with him and fucking custom commission some content. Like what the fuck is going on here, bro? I, I don't know if you guys really realize that, right? There was a dude in fucking Oregon who was dead ass sending money to people in Indonesia so they could send him back videos of them torturing and killing baby animals. Like that is, uh, that's actual serial killer shit. Like that's something you would expect to see in like a fucking, I don't like a John Wayne Gacy or a Jeffrey Dahmer or something like that, right? Like, yeah, oh yeah, he, he, he paid for videos of monkeys being tortured and shit. Like what is wrong with you, man? And then they're out here interviewing this guy and he's just, you know, trying to fucking make it look, oh, you know, I just stumbled across it. By the way, here's a picture of the torture king. Boy, oh boy, he looks like a real normal dude here, right? McCartney, a former motorcycle gang member who spent time in prison before entering the monkey torture world, ended up running several telegram groups in which hardcore torture enthusiasts distributed videos. Quote, it's no different than drug money, he said. Drug money comes from dirty hands. This money comes from bloody hands. The BBC also identified two other key suspects who are now being investigated by Homeland Security. Stacy Story, a grandmother in her 40s from Alabama who was known in the community as sadistic, and a ringleader known as Mr. Ape, whose real name we cannot reveal for safety reasons. Mr. Ape confessed in an interview with the BBC that he had been responsible for the deaths of at least four monkeys and the torture of many more. He had commissioned extremely brutal videos, he said. Story's phone was seized by Department of Homeland Security agents who found nearly 100 torture videos, as well as evidence she'd paid for the creation of some of the most extreme videos produced. According to police sources, Story was active in a torture group as recently as earlier this month. Approached by the BBC in Alabama in January, Story claimed she had been hacked and declined to comment on the allegations in detail. Yeah, you know, she was just fucking hacked. It happens, bro. Uh, yeah, some guy hacked my account and spent 30 grand on videos of monkeys being fucking shot with pistols and whatnot, right? Like, shut the fuck up. I don't even know who these people are trying to fool. And then, like, this other dude, Mr. Ape, they can't real- uh, they can't, uh, We can't reveal his name for safety reasons. You know, the guy who's been fucking crushing monkey skulls for fun on video? Yeah, we're real worried about that guy's safety and security. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. That guy's full name, pictures of him, everything should be on full fucking blast. These people are out here with literally hundreds of torture videos that they're paying and commissioning for, and nobody gives a fuck. Oh, we, we can't we can't share his name, man. That'd be going too far. Fuck that, dude. And then this one idiot. Oh, it's no different than drug money. It comes from dirty hands. This money's from bloody hands. This guy's too fucking stupid to realize he just literally right in that sentence named the key difference. And what exactly, so, okay, I know a lot of people, they don't respect drug dealers and whatnot. I understand it. I get it, right? You don't think that selling drugs is good. I get that, right? Now, let's think about the local weed dealer in your neighborhood, right? For instance, okay? He's selling marijuana to the people around you, you know, to the, to the folks in your neighborhood or whatever. There is like, at least with weed, a 99.999% chance that shit's fine, right? You're just selling weed to somebody. At least where I'm from, the worst that happens is sometimes a bad dealer will lace that shit with fence and then next thing you know, you're fucked. But of course there's things like crack and whatnot that are just bad for you and just bad for the community. I get that, right? But the vast majority of drug dealers are not out here dealing fucking fentanyl, right? So I think there's a pretty key difference when there's a guy selling a fucking quarter ounce to a dude to pay his bills and then you got fucking Mr. Lunatic over here 
paying up fucking big bucks to an Indonesian guy to use his fucking, you know, lawnmower on a fucking baby monkey. Like, the fact that they're actually trying to justify what they did and they're trying to explain their way out of it, that shows you these people cannot be rehabilitated. They cannot, you know, people, oh, well, they shouldn't be hurt. They shouldn't be tortured. They, they shouldn't be in jail for life or anything like that. They should be given a fair jail sentence. In my opinion, a fair jail sentence is you're spending the rest of your life in that motherfucker and you're never getting out no matter how good you act, right? Your ass is in there forever because there is no rehabilitating this. There is no fixing this. If you are so mentally disturbed that you're willing to go through with this and run these fucking monkey torture rings online and shit, there is no saving you. I'm sorry. There is no making you normal again. You're a fucking, you're a wild animal at that point, bro. You have lost humanity, in my opinion, the moment that you're doing some shit like that. It's just mind blowing to me that this is the world that we live in, right? And, and thankfully, you know, this wasn't something where tens of thousands of people were participating in. It seems like it was way more underground than that. It was maybe only a few hundred people. But even then, that makes you think there are actually still hundreds of people, even maybe in your local community, one or two of them exist, where people will pay for shit like this and they will harm animals like this and treat them in these just terrible fucking ways. It, it's so disturbing, dude. It really is. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this because this is actually one of the worst, most disturbing and wild stories I have ever seen start on YouTube, right? So keep in mind, this isn't just a YouTube problem. At this point, it has expanded off of YouTube, right? Like it says in the article, they eventually ended up moving it to Telegram and that's where they were starting all these groups. And then apparently also, according to other sources, the content is now escaping these groups and it's getting posted on fucking Facebook and places like that. So I don't know. It's a really disturbing thing. Thankfully, the police already seem to be on top of it. They're investigating slash arresting a bunch of the people involved in this. Hopefully they all go down, man. Anyway, with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, just unfortunately talking about this sadistic monkey torture ring, that might be the wildest outro I've ever done, uh, but and signing out. And that's a wrap on this video, but big shout out to my Optimus Nation supporters. You guys are the real MVPs. For $10 a month, you get access to loads of exclusive videos and archived live streams, my members only Minecraft server where you can possibly appear in gameplay, early access to all new uploads, an invitation to the private discord, and much more.